so I know we're going crazy on best tech videos, but you guys are giving me some amazing feedback on some of the previous ones, so I'm trying to make each one better than the last. With that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and let's get into best tech under 50. Number 1 is the wireless keyboard by Gamayel. Now $40 is a lot to pay for a keyboard, but it's built really well. We've got an aluminium finish all the way around. It feels and looks just like an Apple one. And the best bit is we've got LEDs, 7 colours to be precise. The feel to actually type on is really tactile, it feels far better than the one on my MacBook Pro, which is surprising considering it's basically an imitation. The only thing I would say is that the enter key is just a tiny bit too small, I kept missing it. What's a bit weird is that about 20 minutes after buying this keyboard, the listing disappeared, so the one I've linked below is slightly different, but it's got exactly the same spec. Next up we have Sugru, and this one caught me by surprise. For $20 you get 8 packs of this squidgy little substance, and what it does is it turns into rubber. So Sugru is stored in little airtight bags, and 30 minutes after taking it out it transforms from something more like a blue tack to something more like a pencil eraser. So you can use it to insulate wires, you can use it to repair ceramic, I thought it was really cool, and it works just as described. For example, my MacBook cable currently has a bit of a tear in it, and I did try filling it with some plastic which helped it somewhat, but putting this over the top has completely insulated it again. Next up is something really exciting. This is a 3D printing pen, and this is as cheap as they've ever been. We found one here for $35. It works through the mains, and as soon as you plug it in the temperature starts going up, and when it hits 240 degrees you can feed in the plastic that comes with it and it just comes out the other side melted. And it's amazing to watch, you can draw structures in the air, because pretty much one second after leaving the end of the nozzle, the plastic is hard. As you can see, my little abstract structure here doesn't exactly look fantastic, but with a bit of time, you can make some awesome stuff. Next up, we have the Somic MH489s, and this thing has two factors that differentiate it from pretty much every other headphone out there. And the first one is these bad boys. The cushions on this headphone are immense. Putting them on just takes you to a happy place, it makes you feel like you are somewhere else. And the other thing is the bass. When they created these headphones, Sonic was trying to create a competitor for Sony's XB line of headphones, and they did just that. The bass is powerful, it's thumping, it's skull shaking. Unfortunately these aren't the most detailed, and they don't have a removable cable, but nonetheless for the price you pay, it's still a solid buy. So the fifth item is the Otlite desk lamp. Now before this purchase, I'd never heard of this company, but I mean it works well, so it doesn't bother me. Now, it's a desk lamp, and $50 is a lot to pay for something like this, but it works well. It's got three brightness settings, the build is fantastic, but also it's got this unusual little orb at the bottom, which can output 16 million different colours, so this thing also doubles as a mood light. The base is not exactly the brightest thing out there. In a well-lit room, you won't be able to see it that well, but going into night time, I actually found it a really good thing to sleep next to. So then, at a sliver under $50, we've got this boombox style speaker from Easy SMX. Now these guys are on Amazon store, and the quality of the build itself was really quite impressive considering it's not exactly an established brand. You also get a fancy suede strap, which makes it feel like the real deal. In terms of the sound, it does have a decent amount of detail for the price you pay, but the bass is not huge. On the bright side though, it actually produces omnidirectional sound, so the sound not only comes out the front but also out the rear. So what normally happens with Bluetooth speakers is that when someone's sitting on the other side of them, it sounds a bit muffled, and this one eliminates the problem. And last but not least, we have the Spivo stick. Now this allows you to hold your GoPro or smartphone if you want to take videos, and as you'd expect considering it does cost $50 for a stick, the Spivo does have something up its sleeve. One press of this button here switches the camera by 180 degrees exactly, so that changes your camera view from a vlog style video to an action style video, and the ability to do that in an instant without sort of taking off the camera, cutting and trimming the video, is an invaluable thing to have. What you're really paying for here is the quality, the fact that it will turn exactly 180 degrees each time, because I really do think that for a piece of plastic, $50 is a big asking price. But it's here, it works well, and there's pretty much no alternative. So guys, that's it for me for now, I really hope you enjoyed this best tech video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button because there's some seriously, seriously cool stuff coming. With that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.